I'm Alex Willis Bray, fashion stylist and blogger. And I'm John O'Malloy, no double barrel surname, but I do have years of retail experience under my belt. I've got to put up with this. Each week we're going to be bringing you fashion tips and advice. Yes, but enough from us. Here is what designer Paul Costello had to say when Alex met up with him. Welcome to Well Hunt. Yes, John, I am with designer Paul Costello. Paul, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. No, lovely, <laughs> lovely to be here on this bright Monday morning. Yes, it is. <laughs> starring. Now, tell me, I mean, how important is British heritage to menswear in London? I think British heritage is very important. It's what, it's what British men's fashion is all about. You go back to the days of Savile Row, Victorian times. English male fashion was always very prominent in, in the world, and it's now... It's got a new lease of life, and um, I think it's, it's, it's a very good time to be working in men's fashion in, in the UK. So for anybody, any of our viewers who are wanting to dress in sort of men's heritage style in outfits or clothes such as yourselves, do you have any style tips? Yes, I think uh, the style tips are um, beak, number one, make sure it fits. It's always worth getting an alteration on a trouser, on a jacket, a little nip in. Make, 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 make sure it's, it's wasted so it makes you look slimmer than you are. Waistcoats coming back, great, 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 great look. Braces, braces. I really into braces. I really feel the old Wall Street look at the old British tailored look with his braces. Really, really quite, quite trendy. And the man's suit, the young man's suit, not the middle aged, it's the young man, the man 18 to 25 has discovered the suit. And, and uh, he's all of a sudden looking really cool. And, and, and uh, it's that something that we sort of, um, uh, sort of uh, didn't think about, uh, say, five years ago. So, it, so it's the, the very fitted suits for the, for the younger man is really, really happening. And that's, and that's great for, for men's tailoring. And that's what the Paul Costello brand is all about. So that's what Paul Costello had to say, but I am now at the Farrow Workshop in Angel, North London, which is a charity shop that reworks second-hand clothes to give them a new lease of life and to also raise some much-needed funds. And I am delighted to be joined by their creative director, Anna Crawley. Thank you for joining us and thank you for putting up with us as well. And you're going to show us how to breathe new life into a tired old white shirt, much yep. like this. Now I've got plenty at home that are a bit discoloured now because I don't separate my whites from colours. I'm lazy like that and I'm sure a lot of viewers will be the same. Yeah. So what could I do with something like this? Well I'll say to make it actually a nicer colour again, um, you could use um, coloured dye, like dye you can get from DIY shops and things like that. Um, this was used in the washing machine so we do a lot of hand dyeing here but this is something quite easily that people can do at home. So you basically put the dye in the washing machine and it's come out this lovely navy blue. And for, for blokes at home, because I asked you this off camera, yeah. after you've done that do a wash without anything in afterwards, oh, yeah, is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah, so do a cycle afterwards, there. yeah, exactly. Otherwise everything will be that colour. Yeah, so we've changed that and we've also taken the collar off and done that, um, changed that one and then done some turn-ups there. So giving it a bit of uh, detail yeah, there. Exactly. And I see you've got something else here, um, yeah. a white shirt that's been... Yeah, so a similar shirt to that one, it, was, it sort of started out looking like that. Um, we've taken the collar off again, we've unpicked it and you get something similar to that. Um, and you use that as the template for your new collar. So we've chosen this uh, floral fabric here, um, which really, really changes it and it makes it more of a casual shirt. And then we've also cut the sleeves off. It was a cuff link shirt before, um, but we've cut it off and just done some simple um, turn ups there. So this is great if you've got an old work shirt yeah. that you want something more casual. Yeah. Alex, I can see you there loitering with intent, dying to get in on the action. Uh -huh. What do you think to this shirt? They're fantastic. And the great thing about it is it's completely unique as well. It's fantastic. Now, following on from on my chat with Paul Costello, I've got some outfits here that follow on the theme of tailoring that I've got from the High Street, which will go perfectly with that shirt. So you go and try that on, and I'll meet you at the changing room. Right, I'm off. See you there. So, John, how are you getting on? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. Woo! Bit of a transformation, <laughs> eh? Actually, scrub up all right. I'm, I'm very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so this is great. I love this. Um, the, so the outfit is from Top Man. The blazer is £80. The trousers are 38 The shirt from Farrow Workshop is just £30. So a great value for money there. Checks are a big trend for spring, summer 14. Seen all over the catwalks by designers such as Philip Lim, Louis Vuitton. The way that you wear them is with flecks of colour at the moment. So this one's got sort of flecks of 
blue so it marries perfectly with the collar. Checks are a great trans-seasonal trend as well, so this is a good investment piece. I'm loving as well the different types of fabrication we've got going on, especially with the different kind of collar and the flexed blazer. It's another trend for the spring summer 14. Designers such as John Galliano and Gucci had these on their catwalk. All in all, I think it's a fantastic piece. Yeah, I absolutely love the trousers. They're, they're probably my favourite piece of this outfit. And also the shirt right from here at the Farrell Workshop. For £30, a unique piece. Yeah. I'm definitely going to get that as yeah. well. But of course, it's not what we think. We want to know what you think. Please do tweet us at WellHungFashion. Use the hashtag WOW. And let me know whether I look a winner or wanker. We're so opening ourselves up to abuse here, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, bring it. I'm used to it. <laughs> We're going to be back same time next week. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Well Hung Fashion. Yes, and we'll see you again same time next week. Bye bye. Bye.